Hi, Lester, Wish You Engineer. I've uh, spoken in past videos about um, the idea of conscious control of fluid movement in the human body. Um, controlling it in order to improve the impact forces or other forces that we're generating. Since the majority of our mass is made up of water, being able to shift large volumes of water around our bodies rapidly and at will can change the way that we produce force. I'll refer to you. I'll refer you to my, one of my previous videos on the subject for more of a, uh, a discussion about it. In this video, I just wanted to produce uh, a, a very short video in which I show how various types of fluid movement um, can affect the force that my body exerts downwards due to gravitational attraction. Of course, the heart is pumping a large fluid volume and hence fluid mass around the body every time it beats. The fluid movement should show up on a load cell if I stand on that load cell and, and, and wait there over time. So I stood on the load cell and I zeroed the output uh, to see if we could see my heartbeat. And this is what the test looked like. If you look carefully at the footage, you'll be able to see small periodic variations in, the, in my weight. I took a section of the data and plotted it using a spreadsheet to highlight my heart rate. So hopefully you can see this. Uh, this is the section of data that I plotted on uh, its own spread, uh, using, a, using its own spreadsheet just to highlight the heart, my heart rate while I was standing on the load cell. So the negative part of, uh, of the graph, which is where um, essentially where uh, the, heart, the heart beats, my, my weight reduces slightly because of the shift of fluid. Um, and, then, and then there's a, there's a, bit, of a bit of a correction to that. Um, this is probably more visible than the top, top end of the graph, but you'll see that there's a periodic um, negative peak which is um, which is repeated regularly. This is uh, this this bit over here is probably just a slight weight correction while I was standing on the on the load cell. But the rest of these, as you can see, are quite regular. So just really interesting that standing on the load cell, you can actually pick up uh, pick up a human heart heartbeat just by virtue of the fact that fluid is moving through the body rhythmically and, and thus mass is shifting in the body um, rhythmic, rhythmically every time the heart beats. So can I consciously create fluid movement by manipulating pressure levels in my intra-abdominal cavities? I attempted to do this and this is what these tests looked like. As you can see from the footage, consciously manipulating my internal spaces can produce rapid weight shifts without requiring peripheral body movement. These weight shifts peaked at a maximum of over 90 newtons of force or just over 9 kilograms. I plotted some of these pulses using a spreadsheet to allow a closer inspection. So these are uh, a section, a series of uh, three of the pulses that are produced uh, consciously while I was standing on the load cell. As you can see, the maximum pulse was uh, the orange line over there, which is uh, just just over 90 newtons of force. Um, so between between 70 and 90 newtons of force were produced by shifting that fluid volume around my body consciously and that was through manipulating uh, my internal uh, internal uh, spaces the uh, intra-abdominal cavities to produce uh, uh, essentially pressure differentials which resulted in fluid movement moving through my body in future i would like to set up some tests 
to investigate whether there is a strong correspondence between these fluid pulses and the amount of peak force that can be produced in a strike or a grapple or a hold. Well, I hope you enjoyed this shorter video and I'll see you next time. Cheers.